Back in the days of the Emperor Nero, there lived a rather unlikely hero. A man who loved the birds and bees. A man whose name was Antocles. Antocles lived with his mom on their tiny farm. Antocles, are you up, my son? Have you forgotten there's work to be done? There's fields to be ploughed, the corn to be sown, the soil to be watered, the beans to be grown. The cow to be milked, the pig to be fed, the lamb to be killed. What? The lamb stone dead? How else, you fool? We need the meat. There is nothing else round here to eat. There's too much killing. How will it end? I can't eat the lamb. The lamb's my friend. Killing creatures is barbarian. I've become a vegetarian. A veggie is something you cannot be. We're living in 65 AD. You'd even drive a saint to weep. Go off and tend our flock of sheep. The sheep are fine. There is no danger. Do you expect some treacherous stranger? I think your mind is quite bestotted. What if a lion or leopard is spotted? A leopard is who always spotted, mother dear. You fool, stop driveling. Get out of here. And sadly, Androcles went off to keep guard over his flock of long wool sheep. And there, with a crossword on his knee, he drank at least six cups of tea. Eating a sandwich, a cheese sandwich made by Ma, an apple, and a kit In fact, he hardly watched his sheep, and very soon he was asleep. Then, into Androcles' tiny cave, there came a lion, fierce and brave. A vicious beast of blood, a spiller. Of man and sheep, a rootless killer. With claws that tear, with trees that rend. If you meet this lion, you will meet your end. Now please keep calm. Don't scream. Don't yell. I may be a lion, but I need your help. A walking lion? That makes me gawk. I suppose it's better than lion talk. I need your help. Look at my paw. It's so red. Just by the claw. I must take care. I have a hunch. I might become his Sunday's lunch. The skin's all red, all around my paw. Have you ever seen a lion roar? What caused it then? A vicious thorn. Hmm. No wonder you're so pale and worn. Let me see. It's gone right into your foot. In fact, it's a splinter. How could you do such a thing to yourself? Don't tell me you were putting up a shelf. I don't put up shelves, no fear. No, I was assembling a very tricky flat back wardrobe from Ikea. Is there anything you can do with it? I need to find my first aid kit. Now, if one gently squeezes and teases, look, it eases. Hold steady now. Don't roar. Don't scream. You need some antiseptic cream. To keep it clean and free from messing. I really must apply a dressing. Here, that is very neatly tied. A bandage that is worn with pride. When you get home, back to your lair, sit down in a nice armchair. And then you must take my advice. Elevate your paw and apply some ice. You really look a lion of note. That bandage goes well with your glossy coat. I'm glad my coat gives satisfaction. I'm told it's my main attraction. And with a slightly muted roar, the lion went out with a bandaged paw. Leaving first aider Andrew Cleese to finish his sandwiches and cheese. It happened that you that same day. Some Roman soldiers passed his way. Searching for Christians to arrest, and the emperor turned the head. This is the place. 
I must be near. I heard that Christian lives in here. And here he is, having a rest. Here you get up, you're under arrest. Arrest? What, me? What have I done? You've had a little bit too much fun. You'll soon be wishing you stayed at home. You're guilty of burning the city of Rome. But I've never done anyone any harm. I've never even lived this far. You'll wish you've kept your nose much cleaner. You're off to perform in the arena. Perform? But I can't dance or sing. Don't worry. You won't need to do a thing. Standing still is all you do. The lions will do everything for you. And so it turned out that Androcles, with thousands of innocent folk like these, was dragged along to the Coliseum to die with all the Romans there to see him. Wait, I no cure. Let, let's check our data. The Coliseum was built till, uh, ten years later. Now Nero was sitting with all his court, sentate and people watching the sport. This should be a good day. I wonder what's brewing. My dear, what will be viewing? I promise the day of non-stop thrills. In fact, the feast of non-stop kills. The Christian first, the heirs of the verse, getting the punishment they deserve. I like orders, and I'm hungry too. Bring mama's bar, no, bring me too. And I'm thirsty, bring me a cup of Coca-Cola for seven. You, for the past of my head. This stressful heat will leave my dead. And now, Papa, I drive my heart. It's time for entertainment to start. Bring on the lions, no delay. The show must now get underway. I hope they're starved. We can't afford failure. Let's all enjoy this Saturnalia. Why faced with punishment so grim? Have the Christians starting sinking to him? This is a fate too grim to bear. Now I need to say a prayer. The lion is going to eat my arm! And please, you must keep calm. Do not be afraid. It's me. And please, you will be free. It's you! The lion on whom I did first aid. My depth of gratitude is paid. Lions, oh, lions, always remember our depth. Like elephants, we don't forget. Now, come where, uh, where the grass may well be greener. Walk with me out of this arena. And so they walked, quite free from harm, arm on paw and paw on arm. And and to the beating of the drums, the Romans cheered and raised their tongues. I really must be getting groggy. I've always wanted to pet Moki. Do you like being stroked? Your fur is like sick. Let's go get a saucer of milk. The moral that this story features, always be kind to your fellow. And to avoid a gruesome fate, get a first day certificate. Thank you.